Benji. And I'm going to show y'all a little demonstration on how I use Geist within Ableton and uh, help y'all set up an easy way to use Geist within Ableton so where you don't have to export every channel. Uh, it's just an easier way to use Geist in Ableton, all right? So first thing I do is, you know, pull up Geist or whatever. You know, it's there. And, but the first, the very, very first thing, well, the second thing I do is I add audio tracks. So I'm only going to do the kicks and the snares right now because it's, a, it's, a, it's sort of a lengthy process. But once you set it up, you could just, you know, save it and just, it'll just be there in your default. That's what I do. So first thing I do, I'm going to create eight, uh, eight tracks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, eight tracks. Then I go to my XN external win and set them all to guys. All right, once I do that, then I can go in and change the post mix to the guys, to guys outputs. So three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and I hope I don't skip nine. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven,
two will get, I mean five, six will get output two, seven will get output three, eight will get output four. So it'll be one, five, they on the same, same outputs, two, six on the same outputs, three, seven on the same outputs, and four, eight, okay? Then I will go to my second uh, auxiliary bus and set that up. Since it's all set to two, and I know that my last output from this engine is four, I go to this one on the pad mixer, and this becomes five. This becomes six, seven, eight. Same thing with this, five, six, seven, eight, all right? So you know, they are going through the same channels, same outputs. And the reason I do this, just to save space, and if I'm doing anything that has a different snare that I want that I don't want to have the same uh, export I just switch them on different channels you know what I'm saying so and I like doing it like that it's, it's very easy for me so next thing I do okay now it's time I can go ahead and load load some kicks up so I just go do something simple right quick uh, load a couple kicks 808s uh, let's see, let's just do anything. You just go to, nope, I'll go to these kicks just to show you. Oh, it's loading. Load them on different channels. Alright, so now if you look over here, you will see that these have all been separated so kick one is going to kick one kick two kick three kick four kick five is going back to one kick six seven eight all right so now i go to engine two and the same thing same process just load up my kicks, snare, I mean snares, it's just different, whatever, nothing special. And the same thing applies to these, even though I haven't set these, same thing applies. Five, or did I set them already? Yeah, I did. All right, six, I'll just, oh, whatever. All right, so then you see, you go to one, Snare one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I go all the way up. So now, what I can do is just put in a basic pattern, and I'm gonna demonstrate uh, different every every uh, channel usually I wouldn't do it like this but I just demonstrated so you can see how it works all right so uh, let's just do that, this first because I don't know how I was gonna sound it might be too much see now they all going the same different well let me go back and fill them in So once I get a pattern or something I like, all you do is click on the channels, highlight them, and click on record. And you could just record them all in at the same time. Simple, 
Simple and easy, right? Once you do that, you know. You can just go back to them and make them auto in, so make them to audio, auto, so you can, so Ableton can hear them, and they all audio. And there you have it. Simple as that. And you know, do what you do to them. Now you can delete guys or whatever, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can even save it. Or you can not delete it. It's not nothing is playing through, guys, because everything is it's not monitoring in. But if you can go back to monitoring in anytime you want to, so I'll say if you want to switch up the pattern within guys, you can go to a different pattern, turn them back all on, turn them back all on to do something different. You know, it's it's real. I I love doing it like this because it's real simple. All right. So there you have it. Easy way to use guys within Ableton. Uh, you can use it within anything though, actually. But you know, I use Ableton, so that's what I use. Easy way to do it. Let me know if you got any comments or you want to see see any other demonstrations on how to use guys within uh, Ableton. Hit me up. This Benji. Subscribe if you want to. Peace.